cheating, hacking, aimbotting, you know, that sort of thing, that is definitely a problem that most people by now know about that is just ruining a ton of popular online first-person shooter experiences. I'm sure you've heard a lot of people talk about how this is ruining Call of Duty, Apex. Those are actually the main two that come to mind. There's some, I think, in, you know, Fortnite. Destiny 2 was even one that I just talked about recently. Cheating is just no fun. Cheating has evolved, of course, over time, where, you know, back in the day, maybe you were a, a bit of a buzzkill to hate on cheating because cheating was actually fun, you know, cheating in single-player games. But nowadays, cheating means a totally different thing. Now, when you cheat in these online games, you're obviously ruining the experience of the other person or people in that server that are just trying to play the game normally. Now, Call of Duty and Apex are really the two main ones that I knew about in terms of its problem with cheating being huge and just out of control. Team Fortress 2, though, nah, nah, they, they do not have a problem with cheating by no means. That game has been around for 17 years. I'm sure that game has a rock-solid security system. No way. Well, it turns out that is uh, completely incorrect. No, this game apparently has been plagued by a cheating sort of crisis for about five years now. And I'm seeing, now this is all alleged, of course, but I'm seeing that the cheating has even gotten so bad in Team Fortress 2 that the cheaters will dox popular YouTubers, like popular TF2 YouTube commentators, that are against this cheating epidemic. And I see that in some cases, at least, these YouTubers were even a victim of swatting. Like, I don't know, just crazy. Now, what's more frustrating is that I'm seeing that ever since the year 2022, when Valve did issue somewhat of a response to this epidemic, ever since then, you know, two years ago, they have pretty much been silent about this seemingly growing problem. Like, it only gets worse, and they're just not acknowledging it. So, in response, a huge movement has actually risen. This is the Save TF2 movement, or the Fix TF2 movement, however you want to put it. I'm seeing both of those hashtags are uh, trending pretty good right now. Now, this has even started the website save.tf. Now, this website has been running a signature page for, from what I can see now, for at least eight or nine days now. Now, while there's not an actual chart on the website, I can see from past comments on Reddit that about eight days ago, when it first started, it had about 4,000 signatures, and now it has just exploded. It has skyrocketed. It is now over 171,000. Oh, just kidding. Actually, I, I looked at the page like 10 minutes ago. It's actually at 172. Yeah, I'm seeing like eight or nine hours ago, it was at like 140 or 150k. Now it's at 172k. I mean, it's really blowing up. The whole thing is just to spread awareness and to get Valve's attention to quite literally save Team Fortress 2 or fix it, you know, fix the huge bot problem. I have a huge respect for movements like this. I mean, Team Fortress 2 especially, it's a great game. I've played it a few times way back years ago, back when I had a PC that could could somewhat run it. I had a great time. It's just an awesome game. It definitely sucks that botting is ruining a huge game, an ongoing game like this, you know, that's been around for over 17 years. So hopefully this movement does something and at least brings it to Valve's attention that the community is just tired of this problem and they want answers. Now, one thing I will say is that in the past eight days now, there have been two really big lawsuits that have been won in favor of gaming companies for these online games that have been, in a way, ruined by these hackers, these cheaters, specifically by these websites that sell the code for these cheating or hacking programs. So actually about eight days ago when this Save TF2 movement was launched, Bungie, the makers of Destiny 2, they won a pretty big lawsuit against a hacking or cheating website. And while they only won about 60 grand, uh, just a few days later actually, Activision won a similar lawsuit against a similar type of cheating website, and they won over 14 million dollars. What I'm getting at is, hey, maybe Valve's solution is to take some sort of legal action. If there is, you know, a top dog website that is selling these cheating or hacking scripts for TF2. So hopefully they can pursue something like that. But above all, I think they definitely need to respond to this movement at the very least. Maybe beef up their security a lot more and let their community know what their plan is going forward.